So that's where we are right now. Where are we going in the future? The thing is, we're just getting started. So this is, you know, beta. This is, we're putting this out because there are, there are some interesting things to do, but we have lots of things we want to do in the future. So one of the things that we're thinking about is what Mark talked about at last OC3, which is this people-centric computing platform. So in this case, say I want to, I want to hang out with, with Rachel. So we meet up in VR and we're there in the space. And then we decide, hey, uh, let's play pool. So instead of launching into a separate app, we have a way to bring a pool table into the space with us. So maybe uh, that turns our table into a pool table, for example. All right, well, now we're playing pool. That's cool. Oh, well, we should be in a pool hall. Let's put up a 360 of a pool hall. Uh, that's too boring. How about we go into some cool back alley, back alley pool? Sure, why not? It's VR. So we're playing pool. Now we want to listen to music. All right, well, uh, let's bring in a boom box that can, you know, stream my favorite music streaming service. So, you know, this is the kind of thing we want to do where these things, these things come into the space and they combine together. Right? So we're very interested in working with developers and talking to developers about the future of this sort of thing. Of, you know, we have no way to do this right now, but we are very interested in figuring out a way for third-party developers to be able to create uh, interesting experiences and objects that we can bring into spaces to, uh, to, to use together. Another thing to iterate is that spaces is for everyone. Right now, this is the very early days of VR, and it requires a bunch of hardware and equipment, but the reason that we started with things like the Oculus Rift with touch controllers is that we're trying to come up with paradigms that will work for everyone when uh, VR, at some near future, uh, reaches the mass market, that everyone has access to VR the same way everyone has access to smartphones. So we're, we're focusing on uh, uh, paradigms that will work for the current hardware, assuming that will, it, will, it will become ubiquitous at some point in the future. I know you probably heard this a million times today, but this is very literally true with Facebook Spaces right now. It's why we're labeling it as a beta. This journey is 1% finished. We have some really fun interactions. We have a million more things that we have planned, um, and we really want, we wanted to put this out so people could use it, and we could see what they do with it, and we could get feedback from people on where to go next. <laughs>